Hey y'all, today we're finally going to get back on the uh, cab over. Been wanting to work on that for a while. Had a couple of weekends of crappy weather and then um, been waiting on a bunch of money from a customer of mine that wound up getting COVID and uh, kind of hung me out to dry a little bit on a pretty fat paycheck. So that took up the money that was supposed to go to the truck, like buying a mag drill and some other stuff. But anyways, we're going to go out there and get cold and... Uh, work on getting a few things sorted out. We need to get the uh, lower front grill off of it. We need to get the, uh, what is it? I don't know what you'd call it. The headlight housing on both sides pulled off. At least the left-hand side, because it's got some cracks in it. We're gonna try to fix that, but uh, we're gonna go out there and get cold, so come on with me. So uh, this is the corner we're gonna be working on today. Um, there's several things I need to do. Um, first off, I'm gonna take off this lower section of the grill. I have to get that off to get to uh, some bolts that are back up in here. Pull the headlight bezel off, pull the headlight out. I'm gonna buy a new headlight bezel anyways. If you've got one, holler at me, I'll sure buy it from you, as long as it's reasonable. This thing's just, it's fiberglass, you can see paint is just absolutely just taking up beating like there's it's all the way down into the, the glass strands itself and then the bigger problem is right here it's got a big split in it right down around to here so to get it off I'm gonna have to take the grill out you can see where it's pushed in pretty good right here so at some point in time it took a pretty good shot there pushed it pushed it in. The other side of the truck is not showing the nearly as bad of uh, delaminating or whatever you want to call that that was going on. It's a factory piece. I think this has been repainted. So it looks like that's old pinstriping. You can see the what looks to be different colors of paint. I don't think that's clear coat. It looks like two separate coats of uh, single stage paint but if I redo the fa uh, this this truck to the factory paint I'm probably gonna redo the pinstriping you can see what I'm talking about here you can see the what I would assume is that the factory original pinstriping here and this on top of it uh, just probably poor surface prep just come apart but I'll refinish this obviously when I do the rest of the truck but I'm not that there's nothing broken on this one but there is here so I'll take this off get it all stripped down and get it primed I'm also looking for some lenses reflector lenses if I can't find some reflector lenses I'll just find some uh, amber aftermarket lights that will fit into that general space what I'm also going to do while I'm in here is pull both of these step boxes off. Both of them have been, basically it looks like the tires bottomed out on it. They got a big bow here in the middle. I don't know if you can see it, but it's dented up. This one's had a pretty gnarly repair made on both sides. Down here it's rusted. Just, I think it's just steel. I haven't done a magnet test on it yet, but I should be able to just replace probably just this back section. Just break it, bend it up. It, this part could be aluminum. I'm not sure. When I get them off, I'll be able to tell. I'm either going to replace the whole assembly or fix it. It doesn't really matter to me. And then in here, this bar here, it offsets around this steering shaft and it's got a bow in it and this is right behind the damaged area right up in there but I don't think it's supposed to have this much bend in it so I'll be probably pulling that off got to take it loose down at the bottom I'll have to pull the wiring harness loose but we'll get you set up and you can watch I haven't decided yet what I want to do with this grill and it's the chrome's in bad shape. It's just cheap chrome to begin with. It's flaking. It's got some little stress cracks. I don't like it. It's pretty ugly looking. So 
to get it re-chromed would probably cost 1500 bucks, something like that, maybe more. That's a lot of money I'd rather spend on buying paint. So I thought about stripping it down, fixing the brakes, having it powder coated like a silver, something close to either of these finishes. Um, I thought about uh, just painting it, you know, just automotive paint, the brightest kind of reflective silver type color I could find. So let me know what your opinions are on that. It's not going to stay this way, so I can't handle the ugly. It's just a captive knife. Fighting the wind and the cold today, so probably gonna drop some stuff. Don't know how good the audio is going to be. I'm not that good at the audio and the video part anyways. I've had uh, some suggestion, suggestions about a, you know, video quality, kind of moving the camera around more often, stuff like that. I am trying to record it in uh, 4K this time. I don't know that much about this sort of thing. I need to uh, upgrade to a GoPro or something like that, but my problem is, out here in the country, we have terrible uh, cellular reception and or internet, so with the speeds being real low, uh, it takes forever to upload something, so up to this point, I've just done it on my iPhone, and when I head to Tulsa or wherever, any place that's got better reception, I can do my uploading at that point in time. I don't know what the solution there is. Um, also, on the part about the technique and the skill and camera positioning and all that, you're just gonna have to bear with me on that. I get to zoned in on what I'm doing and forget that I'm even recording sometimes. Poor choice of fasteners they use on this. It's like a three foot long um, threaded bolt. You have to try to get it with stacked extensions right up through here. But I probably ain't gonna be able to do that until I get this off. This lower mount bolt. Let's see. That's gonna be a 7 16 about the cold. The wind makes it annoying. I got my van parked right in front of us and uh, my truck parked next to it. I'm trying to keep some of the wind noise down.
All right, one good gust of wind, y'all are going down. All right, wiring harness. This has been repaired before. Up there where it's cracked, there's some old, what looks like Bondo caked in there, and that is not sufficient. Okay, I've got one, two, three fasteners to pull off. pretty bummed about uh not getting that big fat paycheck that I thought I had coming not really the guy's fault he didn't plan on getting sick it's more my fault for allowing somebody to become indebted to me that much lesson learned right I had never really thought about what would happen if a customer passed away on me while I had the car or truck here Most of the time I work off deposits on plastic cars, stuff like that. But on this particular one, I kind of let them get behind a little bit, which is not what I normally do. So it was my fault. But I had hoped to be able to put a lot more money into this truck and uh, a couple other things like getting my uh, um, merchandise, my shirts. And coffee mugs, stuff like that, rolling. But it is what it is. Can't do nothing about something that's already happened. Set me back a little ways. Kind of have to hop around to work on other things, kind of out of sequence. It's kind of inefficient that way, but no other options. This isn't something I'm getting paid to do, so gotta pay bills and keep the business rolling before I worry about playing with my toys. I think it's free. Yep. Alright, that's out of the way. That one I'll probably leave on for now. There's no structural damage. Good news is most of this all appears to be in good shape. The mating surface doesn't have any uh, bad corrosion or anything like that in it. You can kind of see better that step, what I'm talking about. I'm gonna pop that off next. This is that bar, that lower mount. It's supposed to be kinked. I just don't think that much feels a little floppy like it's potentially got a crack in it or something I don't know yet another job I got to do is uh, these shutters on this truck on the radiator they appear to be in pretty good shape and the uh, actuating cylinder is right here but it's split like it got water in it or something it just split out so I would like to have that operating this truck runs at its warmest in the middle of summertime, maybe 160 degrees. So running it in the winter time, I'm gonna have some pretty cold feet if I don't have a capability of closing that air off. But anyways, look at this casting. Got the nut plate up there just spinning. Let's see what 
Just a captive nut. It's not captive anymore. Gotta go get a pair of needle nose. Be back. Okay, two things I'm gonna try. First off, not get dirt in my mouth. Second off, try to grab this nut plate. The bolt's about halfway out, but. Oh man. Okay. I got to squeeze one. Yeah. That was predictable. Didn't have enough squeeze on her. Somewhere I got some needle nose vice grips. It would work super minty for this. And I am eating a lot of dirt. Okay. in my dirt in my eyes. That's even funner. Okay. Squeezing that as hard as I can. Oh good. Ow, that hurts. My back ain't liking this. Okay. Victory. Whoever tried to get this off last gave up. Quitters. I ain't much of a quitter. Uh, I might be an idiot, but I'm not a quitter. Whew. There have been a lot of times in my life I have should have quit, but didn't. Whew. All right. I have better luck here. Golly. Something else I was wanting to tell y'all, but I can't remember what it was. Huh. Oh well. Golly. This little piece. I didn't like the feel of this. It felt a lot like a nut plate popping off. A whole lot like a nut plate popping loose. Hmm, that's what it was. So, how do you get to it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you take this little piece of trim off. Guess we get to try that next. This plate, nut plate up there, popped loose, the captive nut, it's just spinning. I think I can get to it with this piece here off. Oh man. Come on, baby. Okay. Lucky once, see if we can get lucky twice. twice what do you know I'm going to the casino when I get done here I'm not much of a gambler I can't win a freaking 50 50 coin toss definitely not going to try my hand at gambling oh good perfect he's got 40 years of dirt
Look at all this yumminess. That's my problem, child. So, that little aluminum piece there is supposed to keep that steel nut from spinning in that big old bolt. That didn't work out well. Problem now is how to get the thing peeled back. Got no option other than just knock it loose. <laughs> this is so flimsy. That was definitely a do it one time and never worry about it again kind of deal. I might get it fried up without breaking the aluminum welds loose. Let me go get a squirt of penetrating oil. These are probably not going to be adequate to hold this steel. Get some vice grips. Nope, not gonna fly. Be right back again. Just here. I'll try these. They tend to roll over though. Let's see, that's gonna be turning that way. These will work if it's not in there crazy tight. They are. Get some uh, bigger vice grips in there, and that'll uh, tear up this little aluminum retainer piece, which is already kind of gacked. Okay, I have a feeling these are just going to roll off. I just have to totally get rid of this little captive nut set up there. Oh, it's turning. I can pop off anyways, but no, it's going. About to roll off. I think it's gonna stay in there. pop off and hit me in the mouth. Come on, a couple more turns. Oh, come on. All right. Sweet. And there it popped off. that off anyways and just put it on with the regular nut and put it back together. If it broke once, it'll break again. Alright. Yeah, it's all steel. That'll be easy to fix. I'll show all the pile of parts to you in a minute. Bet your money I bust off a couple of these. These are gonna be a little bit more of a problem. The floor is different on this side. Come on, baby. Don't, don't break on me. percent failure rate like I said about my gambling all right that's a 75 percent success rate so far
knows you. Kind of feels like it's coming. And this one's coming. What do I got? What would that be? Three out of four out without problems. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pull this all the way out so I can rotate the step out enough to get a screwdriver in it. Unless I can go right through here. Oh, I can. Shockingly, they put a hole in, in the nose valence piece, so I don't have to take that off. Oh, my odds of getting that out are not good. Oh, hey, it's going. Man, maybe I will go to the casino. My neighbor's hot riding his Dodge pickup. Feels like it's coming out. I'll be replacing a whole lot of fasteners on this truck and put it back together. Okay, it's coming out. Needle nose will get it. Got it. All right. Get that piece off just like the other side. Same problem. We just exploded apart. Hate destroying stuff, but bad design's a bad design. Okay, I'm penetrating oil. Okay, so we're not not into the aluminum real bad. So. That's tight. <clears throat> All right, better go back the other way. So that penetrating oil worked in there a little bit. Kind of wonder what the survival rate for these trucks are. I wonder if that dude that built it's still alive. He probably was in his 20s, 30s then. He wouldn't be a young fella no more, but. Okay. Okay, cool. Cut that off. Debating on whether I want to pull that 
other nose piece off too. It doesn't need that much work to get it primed. And I've had this one off before, so I know it's not going to be fighting faster than that one. The truck would look pretty dumb with one refinished and one not. Probably not going to paint them right now. Good though. Sweet. Not. On another note, I decided to finally get serious about uh, getting my CDL. Uh, been doing a lot of studying and uh, to the point where I think I could pass the written real easy. So a lot of people are aware of the federal uh, regulations here in the state changing in February where you cannot get your CDL without going to uh, an accredited uh, CDL driving school. Which is absolutely ridiculous since we already have a trucker shortage. It's like talk about the government shooting themselves in the foot. But anything the government's getting their hands in is going to be messed up. Just ridiculous. Got freaking huge nationwide shipping delays and they're going to shut down the dang. Anyways, like I was saying. So I got to the point where I could fairly easily, I think, pass my uh, written test. But Oklahoma, in all their infinite wisdom, has this setup where you can only you can only make appointments to take any kind of written test, whether it's your 15-year-old and you're getting your driver's license or what. You can only make your reservations online, which, that's stupid, but, and the waiting list is, like, literally, like, three months out, so, ouch, that hurt, yeah, that's not coming out, I'll have to cut that off later, somebody stripped it out and put a nut on the back, and that nut has been there a long time, anyways, we'll do that in a minute. Now, on the other hand, the non-state run testing facility that rents the trucks and the Class A, the semi and trailer setup, they can get me in tomorrow. But without having passed the written test, which I could pass in probably 10 minutes, I can't do it. Just blows my mind. But I ought to put a uh, camper on this thing, put a toilet in it, and call it a call it an RV. What's crazy is they don't have any kind of a uh, any kind of an ex exemption for operation of classic vehicles. You know, this is never going to be a working truck as long as I own it. Not really. Oh well, it is what it is. We pe we uh we peons don't make the make the laws. We just end up getting screwed by them. All right, excellent. All right, looks kind of funny with no nose on it. Looks like a 
somebody with no front teeth. But you can see in there real good now. All right, so here's my pile of parts. Both sides of these. You see, this is what happens if you don't properly prep your surface before you paint it. I mean, this just flakes off. This, in all likelihood, was never, never sanded or scuffed or anything. And this is a crack. You see right in here is a layer of mud. This is just Bondo. You see a little clump of it there. So I'll take that all apart and... Yeah, you can see it's just stepped back there. But anyways, I'll I'll fix that for the right way. Let you come along with it. And I got these little pieces that go under the door. They got some dents in them. I'll go ahead and clean these up. Knock the dings out of them. These are my steps. You see how that, that bow right there is from this coming up and it just distorted it. They're both the same. This is the worst one, the driver's side. You can see this rust all along in here. This metal's just gone. So what I'll do is I'll uh, get a piece of steel. It's 90 degree bend here, here, and here. And I'll make two of them. Cut these back piece off, both parts, and uh, build a new one weld it back together, hammer the dent out of this. This one's not rusted as bad, but it's it's got a pretty sharp bend in it. I'm just realistically, I'm not gonna even fool with trying to fix it. This bottom metal's in good shape. You got my banged up grill, big crease in it. Dings down there, my dinged headlight trim ring. So I'll get all this stuff kind of refinished. I'll bring you along for some of it, but I've got enough video here for at least one week's worth of stuff. So I'll go ahead and get that done. Probably save the pulling the tanks off for the next one as well. But as usual, I sure appreciate you guys.